Assalamualaikum and good day to you. My name is Siti Fatimah binti Haji Ahmad Zabidi. I'm from Center of Mathematical Sciences in Universiti Pucha Pahang. And I'm sure some of you know me already. Today I'm going to teach you 4.7.2 which is mass of a lamina. 4.7.2 is to find the mass. So the mass we are going to find here is the mass of a lamina. Lamina is actually a thin plate. Okay. So we consider the lamina to be in 2D. Now suppose the lamina occupies the region R in the XY plane. And then, then its density function which is mass per unit area at the point XY in R is given by delta XY. And the, the uh, and this density function is continuous function on R. Then the mass of the lamina is given by this formula. So we use double integration to get the mass of this lamina where we integrate the density delta xy dA double integration. If you still remember, dA depends on the type of region we have. So, dA can be equivalent to dy dx or dA can be equivalent to dx dy or dA can also be equivalent to r dr d theta. Okay. We use dy dx if the region is of type 1 region and we use dx dy if the region is of type 2 region and if the region is enclosed by the polar curve we use r d r d theta this is for region in polar curve okay, region in polar curve enclosed by polar curve all right Okay, in the example 4.7.2.1, we want to find the mass of a lamina. This lamina is the triangular lamina with vertices 0, 0, 0, 1 and 2, 0. So, we know 0, 0 is here and we know that 0, 1 is here. 0, 1 is here and we know that 2, 0 is here. Okay. So, we want to find this mass of this lamina in this region. So, we have to decide whether this is type 1 or type 2 region. So, since this one can be type 1 or type 2, we can choose any one. So, now I'm going to choose type 1 region. Remember type 1 region, type 1 region, for type 1 region, dA is dy dx. Okay, dA is dy dx. So, for the first integration, the we want this equation, uh, we want the upper boundary here to be this upper curve here. So, we need to find this equation here. To find this equation here, we know that this is a straight line and the straight line has the equation mx plus c where m is the slope. So we can use slope equation. Uh, we if we choose the point zero one here and two zero here, then we can find the slope. If we have zero one to be x one, x two, x x one, y one, and two zero is x two, y two, then the slope will be x two. The slope will be y2 minus y1. So, y2 here minus y1 divided by x2 which is 2 divided minus 0. So, we get the slope. Okay. So, this is the equation that will be the upper boundary. And then, the lower boundary will be this curve down here. And we know this is the x-axis. x-axis is actually y equivalent to 0. So, this is the lower, lower boundary. 
Now, since uh, we have x and y, we need to integrate with respect to y. So, the x will be fixed. So, if x is fixed, we can separate it. We can put it just outside the first integration. And then we integrate this y here. So, we add 1 to y to be y of 2. And we divide by the new power which is 2. So, we have this uh, integration. Okay, in your module, there is a typing error. Please correct this one. This one should be 2. Because the x ranges from 0 until 2. x from 0 until 2. So, this one is supposed to be 2. So, please correct the typing error in your module. And then, uh, we continue to integrate. Before we integrate, we have to substitute the values for y. So, this half here, okay, half here is just a constant. We can just separate this one. So, we substitute y in. This value is for y. So, y square, we need to then... Uh, we can we need to then expand this uh, one minus one minus half x here expand this uh, value here to give you this because you have this one square and dub two times two times y one times by negative half will give you half negative x here and we can uh, square this to give you. 1 over 2, 1 over 2, uh, or half 1 over 1 over 2 x square to get this value. So, then we just multiply. x multiply by 1 to give this value. x times by negative x to give you negative x square. And x times by uh, 1 over 4 x square will give this value. So, when you integrate, you just... Integrate x here to give you x square over 2. Integrate x, uh, x cube, x square to give you x cube divided by 3. And integrate this one, x to the power of 3 to give you x to the power of 4 divided by 4. But that 4 multiplied by this 4 will give you 16. So, we just substitute values for x here. So, x here is 2. So, x square will give you 4 divided by 2. x cube is 8. So, give you 8 divided by 3. And x to the power of 4 is 16. So, give you 16 divided by 16. Which is, this value is 2. This value is 1. So, 2 plus 1 will give you 3. 3 minus, one, minus 8 over 3 will give you that value. Because 3 is just... 9 divided by 3. So, 9 minus 8 will give you 1. 1 times by 1 will give you 1. 2 times by 3 will give you 6. So, you get that value. Okay. I hope you understand this example. Let's go to the next one. In this example, 4.7.2.2, we want to find the mass of this lamina. So, this lamina is uh, bounded by the region enclosed by this curve y equivalent to square root of x and then the x axis which is y equivalent to 0 and the line here which is x equivalent to 1 so we can choose type 1 region because we have the upper boundary here which is the upper limit upper curve and lower curve which will be this one so we know that mass is the into double integration of the density function density function given is x y and we use uh, the first region here we use region to be region type 1 so we use dy dx so the upper graph is y equivalent to square root of x and the lower graph is y equivalent to 0. The range of x is 
from 0 until 1. So, the lower limit of x is 0, upper limit is 1. Okay, let's try to solve it. Okay, let's look at the solution. Just now, we need to integrate, double integration, the density function uh, with respect to dy first and then dx. So, with respect to y, x is fixed. So, this is fixed. So, we don't integrate x, we integrate y. So, y, we add the power. So, the y power becomes 2 here, divided by the new power. And then, we substitute values for y. So, here, here is the y value here. So, we have x. y is actually... In the upper limit is square root of x so we substitute for y square root of x and then we square it we square it so square root of x square becomes x so x multiplied by x will give you x square you divide by 2 so when you integrate you get integrate x square you be you have x to the power of 3 divide by 3 but that 3 multiplied by that 2 will give you 6. So, if you substitute values in, you will get 1 over 6. Okay, very simple, right? So, let's look at the exercises that you need to do. Okay? I hope you can do these exercises uh, so that you understand what uh, is the lesson for today. Uh, you want to find mass of the following lamina. The first lamina has density x plus y. And unit is bordered, bounded by this x-axis. Line x equivalent to 1 and the curve y equivalent to square root of x. I hope you can draw this uh, graph and then come up with the region. And you have to know whether this region is type 1 or type 2 region. Also, for the second problem, you need to find the mass. For this lamina with this density here, bounded by this uh, curve. And this curve, you know, this is a polar curve. This is just a circle, x squared plus y squared equivalent to 4. And then... You need to change this to polar x squared plus y squared. I hope you still remember what is x squared plus y squared equivalent to. And then you change dA to r d r d theta. So I've given you this answer for number one and number two. Hope you can do all those problem. If you don't, uh, if you have any problem, you just let me know. Okay. Thank you.